just wrapped up uh, with Jordan uh, a little bit ago. We were out doing uh, fertilizer. Ended up doing, I think it was like 30, 33. We ended up using this stuff by Rich Lawn. Uh, got it from CPS Distributors. They said it was uh, recommended for late summer. Uh, so that's what ended up doing. I got 18 bags and it was uh, over $500. I have quite a bit left <laughs> of it, but uh, you know, it's stuff I can use in the fall. Ended up doing over $2,300 uh, in uh, fertilizer today. Not bad, so, you know, spending $500. Uh, but of course I probably only use maybe $350 worth of product uh, and you know turning that into $2,300 uh, so pretty nice uh, but yeah this video I want to talk to you guys about uh, actually P for P pay for performance this is something I heard from Mike Andes uh, you know just watching his videos and all that stuff but I also bought his book that he has so it's something that I've been you know looking to implement into my business I was just not sure you know, if it was uh, something I could do being small. Jordan does help me, uh, which I appreciate his help, uh, you know, so much this year. You know, just having like one uh, one employee, uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, it's not something I could do. Then I was watching a video that he did and it was uh, about an efficiency score. Uh, so I ended up creating a, uh, a spreadsheet in Google Sheets uh, and just started uh, tracking like my efficiency score, you know, like my, what's my goal per man hour rate? What's my actual hourly rate for mowing? It's $85 is, is my goal for, you know, anything else, just like general labor, uh, you know, weeding, stuff like that, leaves, aeration, uh, fertilizing, all that stuff. I'm, I'm shooting for 110. So kind of how I've been doing the P for P for Jordan, because I've actually been doing it, I think for like two or three weeks now. Uh, so with my efficiency score, uh, you know, him and I are actually doing pretty good. At the beginning of the year, I didn't have as many uh, lawn mowing customers. So our efficiency score uh, was was pretty low. I think, you know, it was right around maybe 69, 70. That's not like low, low. Now, you know, we can be anywhere from like 80 to 90 percent uh, efficient. I ended up deciding that I would, if we like work five and a half hours, or let's just say five hours. So if we work five hours and, you know, we generate uh, $850 in revenue for the day, uh, you know, it, I punched that into my uh, efficiency score calculator that I created, and then it kicks out our efficiency score for that day. And it'll also tell me our actual per man hour rate. So what I've decided to, uh, you know, end up doing with Jordan is, you know, if we're above 75% for the day on our efficiency score, I'll go ahead and keep adding hours to his clocked in hours for the day until we hit that 75 right around 75 percent 75 76 77 whatever keep adding hours or minutes you know sometimes it might be like you know half an hour that i add to uh you know his clocked in hours for the day i'll just keep doing that until it you know if it's like our efficiency score is like 85 percent i'll keep doing it until it drops down to about 75 percent obviously he's getting paid more because he's essentially working uh, what i say five hours uh five hours but let's say you know i added two extra hours onto uh the day because we were really efficient so he's basically you know getting paid for you know two two extra hours that day because we were so good at being efficient. Do that every day, Monday through uh, Friday. I haven't been doing it much uh, for Friday just because I haven't had much Friday work the past like three, three, four weeks or so. For me, I'm uh, trying to take it slow a little bit because there's gonna come a point here in the next couple weeks that, you know, Friday, it's gonna be, you know, consistent. I have it pulled up on my phone, like my, my spreadsheet. So I'm gonna show this to you guys. Uh, it's gonna have uh, my numbers on it, like my, my daily uh, revenue for mowing. Uh, it's also gonna have, you know, uh, today's uh, revenue. You know, it's gonna show you Jordan's, uh, so his pay, his base pay is 27. Uh, I feel good about paying him 27 for base pay. 
just because I know how he works. I've worked with him, you know, doing lawns for several years, uh, and he's he's just real good. He's real smart. He knows what he's doing. He does a good job. So I'm going to show that to you. It's going to have all my my numbers on there. Just take a look at, you know, if you're thinking about implementing P for P. When I told Jordan that I this is something I was going to be doing, he was like ecstatic because you know who doesn't who doesn't want more money so his base pays 27 uh I, I would say he's probably almost always making above 30 dollars an hour mowing lawns so when i first told him about this he was just like you know i never thought i'd be you know mowing lots for 30 dollars an hour and i said i never thought i'd be paying someone 30 dollars an hour uh to cut grass obviously you need to make sure that you know you're as efficient at as efficient as possible and that your prices are you know can can uh support the p4p you know because if you're charging really low prices uh you know there's just not be any uh room for you to you know be able to implement something like that so uh i'll, I'll also probably put up uh an image of this on the screen so you guys can uh hopefully maybe see it a little bit better uh, but you know there you can see two employees uh, you know that's how many hours we worked for that day uh, there's my labor revenue and uh, clocked hours is just you know uh, five hours times two me and Jordan uh, you know so let's see total hours worked uh, for this week was uh, a quarter shy of 30 right there you can see his uh hourly rate is uh 27 for monday through thursday which is mowing and then friday and saturday i put him at 34. uh you know just because my target hourly rate on friday and saturday is 110. uh you know so you can see our target hourly rate right there and then there's our effective hourly rate uh you know so i'm some days i'm doing really good other days uh like on thursday i think it was not doing so good uh and then there's friday right there where you know my effective hourly rate is you know over 175 bucks so you can see over there our efficiency score for the day or for each day all right so now you can see uh this is uh page two and this is the actual p for p calculator uh, so I think what was it? It was like five hours. I ended up paying him uh, for 6.4. So you can see our uh, target hourly rate remains the same, 85%. Uh, but our effective hourly rate dropped down to 65, and that's just because I was adding, uh, you know, hours onto uh, his clocked-in hours. Uh, you know, to pay him for being so efficient. And you can see that dropped our efficiency score, you know, down to 76.75. Um, so, you know, still still not bad. And then, you know, you can see on Friday, two of us, uh, I got him up to nine hours. Today we worked uh, about six and a half. So I added two and a half hours to his uh, pay. And, you know, we were still doing really well. 128 effective hourly rate and our efficiency score is still 116 percent all right so there you can see his actual hours worked is 29.75 but the adjusted p for p hours so basically what i'm paying him is 35.3 and these ones right here you can see i did this to so uh, i can easily show him uh his hourly rate for each individual day so this past monday he was making over 34 dollars an hour mowing lawns tuesday it was uh almost 32 wednesday it was 30 uh yesterday it was only 27 uh that was because uh i ended up having him uh do some uh fi fix a, a a piece of equipment that we needed for today uh, and then you can see friday he was making over 47 dollars per hour helping me fertilize that's uh that's pretty rad how much do you make today three over three hundred dollars just today helping me uh and then this stuff over here is just uh you know basically what uh it, it's it gives me like the taxes what his gross wages are and then taxes so then you know i can easily you know pay him uh, what I need to and withhold taxes the proper amount of taxes uh, and then over here is right there is his uh, average hourly rate for mowing 
and then the Friday and Saturday since we're only working today Friday that was his uh, hourly rate but you can see he grossed over a thousand dollars for himself working for me this week which you know <laughs> working how many hours less than 30 hours this week and he grossed over a grand so when I take out taxes Monday through Friday his paycheck next week is going to be eight hundred and twelve dollars and eighty eight cents Hopefully you uh, followed along uh, with that. Uh, let me know if you guys want uh, maybe like some more information on like the calculator, you know, whether it is, uh, you know, something I might be able to like share with you guys and, you know, just create a copy and you guys can download it and tinker with it and, you know, see, uh, you know, kind of, kind of how it functions. Uh, there are, you know, formulas in there that, uh, you know, are not meant to be changed. Uh, but obviously if, you know, you need to change them for your purposes, you know, that's uh, obviously something you can do. Uh, but I spent a lot of time, like, uh, you know, wa watching Mike Andy's videos on P4P and the efficiency score and like all this stuff. And so it's, this took me a long time to uh, uh, create. It didn't take me a long time to create. I, I created it fairly quickly. But to actually get it in its current state where it is right now, that took a long time. Um, you know, I know it's really simple. Uh, I know there's, you know, there might be other things out there, uh, you know, that might do a better job. Uh, but for me right now, this, this is, uh, you know, what works for me. And, you know, all this stuff I actually showed Jordan too, uh, you know, because I want to be upfront with him and, you know, like, hey, this is how much uh, money I'm making mowing and, you know, here's your cut. So that way he can see, you know, if he's, um, you know, working harder, faster or smarter, like, you know, he's going to know that, okay, this is what, you know, I can, I can conceivably make. Thirty dollars, thirty-four, thirty-five, forty-seven dollars. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, spreadsheet and uh, how I am implementing my P for P. Uh, let me know if you guys implement something like that yourself, or if you guys are just you know doing straight uh, hourly. You know, in a short video I did, Thomas Salazar said that you know hourly is it's not going to work anymore, especially because if you know someone is working faster and they're getting off earlier, they're actually losing money and the company is making money. So if you start incentivizing them being efficient and you know working smarter and, and faster, you can give them uh, more to do and that's just gonna make their pay go up. It's in, you know, you're gonna be making more as well. Also, like I said, just make sure that your pricing is, uh, is high enough to where it can support stuff like this. Uh, you know, I worked very hard on trying to get my pricing uh, where it's at. You know, having a minimum mowing charge of at least $36. Everyone that I bring on now, if it's not like a front only, you know, I'm trying to hit it like 38, 39, uh, you know, just in hopes that, you know, if I raise my minimum next year to, to 37 or 38, like I won't necessarily have to raise, uh, you know, the rate of, you know, those people. The new people that I brought on, uh, you know, mid mid season, you sign up for service, and then you know, like eight months, twelve months later, you're you know getting a rate adjustment. That wouldn't sit well with uh, a lot of people, I don't think. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video and a uh, little bit of knowledge in uh, my implementation of P for P, pay for performance. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you uh, use something like that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Slowly getting up there on subscriber count. I think uh, last time I checked, I was at 522. You know, it's it's pretty exciting to, you know, finally get over that 500 uh, subscriber mark. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, catch you next month. Later.